This is Nathan with Muzzle Brakes and More doing a muzzle brake test. Um, this is a 300 PRC with 208 A Maxes and H1000 powder. This first one's a B brake. Twenty nine twenty nine for velocity. This next one's a Tie Pro three brake. Velocity on that's twenty nine oh six. This is a Precision Armament Hyper Tap. Velocity on that's twenty nine thirty six. This is a APW brake. Velocity on that's 28.98. This is a Patriot Valley Arms Brake. Velocity on that was 29.24. This is a Five Port Muscle Brake. Velocity on that was 29.26. This is a Kirby Allen Painkiller Brake. Velocity on that was 29.03. This is a T3 Terminator brake. Velocity on that is 28.99. This is a T4 Terminator brake. Velocity on that is 29.10. This is a Assassin brake. Velocity on that is 28.99. This is an APA Fat Bastard brake. Velocity on that is 29.11. This is an Area 419 brake. Velocity on that is 29.06. Here it is without a brake at all. Velocity on that is 29.33. It hit the full travel of the sled. So here's a summary. Um, my beast brake did the best at 14 inches of travel, followed by the Type Pro 3. The uh, T4 Terminator, a Hyper Tap, T3 Terminator, Fat Bastard, Area 419, Assassin, APW, um, Patriot Valley Arms, Kirby Allen, Painkiller Brake, and then the um, Pure. Precision Arms uh, five port brake, and uh, you can see if I spin it over here a little bit. You can see the where the bullet's at is a full travel of the sled, 66 inches. That's what it went without a brake. Once again, this is a 300 PRC with 208 A maxes and H1000 powder.